It's not magic. It just follows rules. Awesome tool that lets you create AI agents. The agent will send the argument to the weather API. Welcome back to the Curious Minds Podcast. I'm Trisha and today's episode is all about building AI agents and how we build our own using Langflow. Hey folks, I'm Shetaj and yeah, Langflow is this awesome tool that lets you create AI agents using drag and drop building blocks. We are going to show you two completely different agents we built. One made by me, one by Shetaj. Each solves a diff- totally different problem. And we'll break down how they work and what they can actually do. Let's start by quickly explaining what an agent is. An AI agent is like a very smart helper robot that lives inside a computer. It can look at what's happening, decide what to do and then take action. Kind of like how you see something, think about it and then do something. For example, you see it's raining and then you think I need to stay dry and then you use an umbrella. An AI agent on the other hand sees your email inbox is messy, thinks I need to organize it and moves your emails into folders. It's not magic, it just follows rules or learns patterns to help do tasks, sometimes even without being told every step. Now let me show you an architecture diagram so that you can understand how an AI agent works better. So we have actually found this really nice architecture diagram of an AI agent and I am going to use that to show you how an AI agent works. So the architecture of an AI agent all starts out with the user. The user asks a question to the agent and the agent passes that question to the LLM which has access to the weather API, search API, memory and all the different APIs and tools. And then once the LLM has the question, the LLM creates a structure which includes the tool that is to be used for the question and the arguments. In this case, the question was What's the weather in San Francisco today? So, parsed data that the LLM created had the tool which is weather API and the argument which is city San Francisco. Now, once the LLM has sent this parsed data back to the agent, the agent will send the argument to the weather API. So, this means that the agent also has access to all these APIs. And now the weather API will give the temperature data which is 72 Fahrenheit back to the agent. And the agent will now give this data which is the temperature to the LLM. And the LLM will think whether it does it need more information to answer the original question or is this information enough and it can now formulate an answer. Well let's say the LLM thought that it is done getting the information and it has the answer. Now the LLM will create a beautiful uh, English sentence the user or human can understand and in this case it is it's a sunny day in San Francisco the weather is 72 Fahrenheit. So this nice nice sentence is sent back to the agent and the agent sends it back to the user and now the cycle is complete. So every time the user sends another question to the agent, this whole cycle repeats. Wow, that's a very interesting cycle. You explained it so well. I think anyone could understand this explanation. Yeah, thank you. Alright, here's what we built. So my agent is a YouTube video search assistant. You just ask it something like, find me videos about quantum physics. And it will go search YouTube and return the top videos for that topic, complete with their titles and their links. I use the YouTube Data API 
to con uh, and connected it to the inlang flow agent and built the flow to understand the user's request and query youtube and format the results nicely now let me show you my flow so this is an overview of my flow over here at the start i have this chat input which is the question that the user asks this chat input is given to an llm the llm is right over here i'm using google's uh, llm which is gemini so i'm using google's model and here i'll put in my api key which is my gemini api key and the model i'm using in this case is learn lm 2.0 flash experimental but you can choose whichever llm you want i like gemini 2.5 flash because it's fast and also i have set a system message to the llm which is telling it to convert whatever message the user sends into a searchable youtube query this llm is used to convert the user's message into a searchable youtube query right so that query is given to the youtube search component which is using the youtube data api and that's the api key i'll put over here so the search query is the response from the llm and the search results from the youtube da component is given to a parser now you might ask why do i need a parser can't i directly connect it to the agent which is right over here well no why because the data or the response that the youtube component gives back is in like a data frame or a data object and our agent can't understand that so that's why i needed to put a parser that would convert it into a readable string that's why i chosen stringify over here and then the parsed text is given to our agent right over here this agent is also the gemini and the model is same gemini 2.5 flash and i've also put the same gemini api key and this agent has the instruction saying that you have to give the user youtube video links for what the user asks you to search for and then the agent is gonna format a response out of the input that it has gotten right over here that it has gotten and then the response is given to the chat output and this chat output is the actual answer that the agent gives you so that is an overview of my entire length of my agent okay now let us see my agent in action let us click on this playground button which allows us to test the agent uh, let us ask it search youtube videos for the forum of sample lessons from the bellman's for kids youtube channel and let's press send and now we'll have to wait for a while for it to um create the response so let us wait for it so as you can see it has given us the answer the each video has its title and the link of the video so if you click on this link it's gonna go to that video that's so good it's like having your own research assistant just type what you want and it does all the digging for you yep it's really fast and i made sure that it pulls only relevant results so if you're just learning something new or just curious about a topic it saves a lot of time okay shitaj it's your turn what did you build so i built a document analyzer agent the idea is you upload a file could be a resume in html a json or even a pdf and the agent reads it summarizes the key points and then gives important suggestions so this is how the node system looks like for my agent. Now before I go into the technical details of how it's built, let me show you a quick demo. So first, you actually have to upload a file over here. In the so let me quickly upload a file. So I think I'm just gonna upload this resume example over here. So let me double click on it and you can see it has uploaded. So now let's go to the playground over here and let's click on run flow. 
and you can see it gave the result and you can see it saying okay this looks like a resume for ananya sharma who is applying for marketing manager position you can see it gives some of the contact information that was in the resume the skills the education the languages she speaks and the work experience and the references and over here it also has the area where it gives suggestions for improvements so the profile section the work experience the skills education formatting and clarity right now let me show you how it works so you can see the first node over here is the file node right the file node is where you can upload the file which you want to analyze you can see the data frame is connected to something called a parser So where you can format a data frame or a data object into text using a template and you can see i set it to stringify and it's getting the data frame information and then after it after it is passed it it is sending the past text to the google generator ai or here you can see and i'm using google or gemini's llm for this and you can see it is connected to the input over here and you can see it also has a system message over here in the system message which is telling the what gemini what gemini ai needs to do you can see we're saying make any data that comes through easy for anyone to understand if the document is like a resume or a project or any of that kind it will also say on how it can improve the things in it but if it's things like reservations or anything it won't mention how to improve if the file has code example html then you can explain the code in in the response and you can see i've set the model gemini 2.5 flash and i put the gemini api key over here and then the final message after the processing will be sent to the chat output which is what the user will be able to see so that's basically a rundown of how my code works nice so it's like a personal document coach exactly it's useful for things like resumes or structured data the agent extracts what matters rewrites it in simpler terms and says stuff like add more project details or clarify your experience section and it works with multiple formats for me that was the trickiest part to get right i can imagine passing files inside an ai flow isn't that easy especially when each format is so different but at the end the result is super practical now let's talk about what we learned I learned a ton about file handling and how to connect tools inside Langflow. Also, just building something real from scratch makes you understand how AI can actually be used. Yeah, same here. This whole idea of chaining LLMs with um tools and memory, it opens up so many possibilities. Like this isn't just chatbot stuff. It's AI doing actual tasks. All right. That's all for this episode of the Curious Minds podcast. We had a blast building these AI agents. And if you like this episode, don't forget to like, share the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, stay curious and keep creating. Bye.